Hello everyone, Kate Crane here. Now it's back to school time so I've put together this really simple to bind journal using the uh, Dural Art clear film and a little bit of the matte film as well. I've included a pocket at the front and a magnetic name tag and inside there's plenty of space for you to um, include any dates to remember, school photographs, achievements, whatever you like. You can customise this in any way you like. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have fun playing along. I'm going to use the Dural Art Clear Film for the main pages of my journal and because they are transparent it's a brilliant way to build up layers and pages in your journal. I may also add um, a page of the matte film. My other pages are going to be either scrapbook papers, which I've got a huge collection of, or my own painted papers because once they're layered up it starts to look really great as you get your transparent layers with your patterned layers. I've also got a few other bits that I'm going to use. So in a previous video I used alcohol ink on the wet media and I've got lots of little off cuts so I might add some of those just for an extra pop of colour. I've got some fun alphabet and ruler stamps which are great for the um, going back to school theme. I've gathered up a few extras, um, some collage pieces, some little stamped images and I've got a magnet ready for my magnetic uh, name card which is going to be right on the front of the journal and finally um, a couple of little tacks. I tend to cut these myself just out of uh, craft cardstock. My pages actually measure 227 millimetres wide by 152 um, high, which seems a little bit of a specific measurement, but actually it's a page from the book just cut in half and then folded in half. I've built up a mixture now of alternate clear and the matte pages, and once you've scored those edges you do get a really nice crisp fold down there. Now this gives me the perfect opportunity now to add a little bit of colour in between these pages. So something like scrapbook paper, this is cut to the same size and then it gives you that beautiful colour with a very shiny top layer or you can cut your own pages to fit and here is how I made a very quick painted background to go in between my pages simply using acrylic paint and a brayer on some plain white card. combination now of clear, painted, the matte, a bit of scrapbook paper and if you wanted it to have a real kind of old school feel to it you could use something like a bit of ledger paper and just cut that to fit the page as well. I'm going to add a pocket on the front of mine. I've cut a piece to measure 8 centimetres by 9 which I'm going to put on the front and that's wide enough for this tag to sit inside and also for the little magnetic name badge that I'm going to add. So to add this you can either uh, glue it, you could stitch it, I'm going to use the sewing machine to stitch around there, you could hand stitch if you want to hand stitch it just punch holes first with like a, a needle tool and then that gives you holes to sew through, makes it so much easier. Just before I stitch that round I'm going to add a little bit of stamping. Now I've got this kind of old school style um, alphabet practice here so I'm going to stamp that on there, very appropriate for a back to school little journal and I'm using stays on because I know that stays on dries really well on this kind of um, non-absorbent surface. And now I've got my pocket ready for my tag. Just to decorate that tag a little bit, I'm going to make a little magnetic uh, name badge now, which will just sit inside the pocket on the front cover. I'm going to add a little bit of doodling with the white pen. This will be underneath that top layer of the clear film, so it should kind of protect it. Once that white pen is dry, I'm going to piece it together. So I'm going to have my cardstock at the bottom, my painted card, 
I've got a tiny scrap here of some alcohol ink on a piece of, I think it was the wet media. I'm going to layer that in there, then my name, and then a sheet on the top. And I'm going to hold it all together with an eyelet at each end. That makes a really nice sturdy little name tag with a magnet on the back. Uh, look, just to prove it. I'm going to do a really simple just hole and tie for this uh, little journal and that would allow me to add further pages as the academic year progresses. That really is one of the simplest binding techniques of all. The back to school journal is now finished and this is a great place to store photographs, dates you need to remember and anything at all that's special to you. So I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating now to finish mine off. 